whenever we talk about the youth, I would say that whatever, however you look at it, I benefited from that principle. I benefited from that sentiment. I got to the Senate at the age of 37. By the time I got to the Senate, I was regarded as one of the youngest. In fact, we were out of the 108, three of us were below 40. It didn't stop us from putting our best. It didn't deny us any opportunity, of any opportunity. And you ask me, what inspired me to, uh, to aspire to go to the Senate at 37? Because I had an experience working in the public service. I left school, I applied for a job, I got a job, and I flowed with the job, perfected with the job, and I felt some substance in me, and I then stretched out my hand to put it at work. If young people should leave school without employment for year one, year two, year three, year four, that is the greatest disservice you can do to any individual and any nation. And I want to believe that one way or the other is part of the is part of the root cause of the crisis we have in the country today, so to say. In other words, I want to say that my primary target would be to develop policies that will provide engagement for the youths. And if we are talking about engagement for the, for the young people today, we are not talking about only white collar jobs. Given the fourth industrial revolution, Talent will, will dominate the, the leadership of the next century. For me, policies will focus on how to create the right environment for young Nigerians to deploy their talents, for young Nigerians to be fully engaged, for young Nigerians to have confidence in themselves, for young Nigerians to dare. If you have a, a healthy young segment of the population, you will ultimately have a healthy nation.